Hey guys, welcome to our new how-to video. If you're a gamer and would like to start streaming on Twitch, but you don't know how to do that, this video is specifically for that. I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to get started, just basically the main software and the main equipment that you need for this. So let's just jump into it. So first of all, right now you can see my welcome scene. I use this in, to start my Twitch stream and, and this is just to welcome everybody and my viewers. So we have different moods, uh, beginning, middle and end. And I have also a thank you scene and I will explain to you more of what the scenes are and how can you do that. So how do you create scenes? It's a nice way to just have a variety throughout your stream. Um, now we have a scene for console and right now you can see Rocket League is displayed here. I am using Xbox in this particular scenario. But in order to capture the, the display from your Xbox to the computer and then to Twitch, you need the equipment. So right now I use Elgato capture card. This is the Elgato website and you can see this is the capture card. It has two different inputs. Um, this is actually the power source where you connect it straight USB to your computer and then you have the input to, to connect straight to your monitor or your TV and the output that is going to be like the HDMI cable connected to your Xbox or PS4 or whatever console you're using. If you're not using a capture card, you can still stream straight from your Xbox or PS4. You just need to download the Twitch app onto your console. But this is what I use. And now this, this capture card is basically capturing the image for you to see it on your streaming software. So right now I'm using OBS and OBS is open broadcaster software. Um, it works fine for me. OBS Studio is great. You can download it for PC or Mac. And right now this is what it looks like. So this is OBS and you can see that my display is uh, basically infinite because right now I am on the scene called PC Capture and it's capturing my, what my PC looks like. You can switch from scene to scene. So how do we create scenes on OBS? Here you can see scenes and then you just go to the plus sign and let's call it scene one. Right now the scene is black because you have to add sources to it. But if I step out of it so you can see now in PC Capture, you can see the sources that belong to PC Capture. If I click on scene one, you're not going to be able to see that because OBS is, is um, showing this black screen for scene one. But that's basically what you have to do. You have to add sources to your scenes. And so I have different sources for PC and so on. So the most important scene and source you need to know in order to hook up your Elgato capture card to your OBS is video display capture. So we are going to switch off scenes for demonstration purposes. Um, here I'm on my PC capture, but just pretend you're in the console stream. Um, right now I have my webcam and my display capture. Everything else is, is turned off as you can see. So once you come here to the plus sign and you go to video capture device, you just call it video capture device or whatever you want to call it. And then here on the prompt, it's going to ask you to choose whichever one the, the computer is picking up. So right now my computer is picking up the, uh, the webcam and the Elgato game capture. So let's just not choose anything right now because I already have that set up. I'm going to remove that. But here you can see that that's, um, oh, not, not here, but in this, this is the scene that that's going to be created in. Because uh, right now I'm not using the Elgato for PC capture. I'm going to be using it in this console stream scene. And then that's how you connect your Elgato to OBS. There's a lot to learn about OBS, but this is basically the, the, main, the main thing that you need to know about OBS. Now, finally, if you want to connect your Twitch channel to your OBS, that is uh, very simple. You just have to look for your stream key. And the stream key is very private. It's a secret uh, set of numbers that you just keep to yourself because you don't want any other person to find out what your stream key is unless you want them to stream in your channel. But no, you don't want that. So you can find out what your stream key is if you just Google how to find stream key on, on Google. So you just search that and this will tell you exactly what to do. It tells you to go to your Twitch account. Once you have your Twitch key, you come back to OBS and you go to your settings and then you go to stream and then here you just set up as uh, streaming services, Twitch, show all services and here you copy paste your stream key. All right, and that's how you set up and you should be good to go. That's, that's all you need. Once you start adding new things and you wanna do uh, Twitch alerts, that's another fun thing that you can do. If you have any other questions about how you can get started and other fun things that you can do, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video on that. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next video.